Hello everyone! In this video I'm going to show you how to turn a scanned PDF into a fillable form. We'll be doing this by using PDFtron's Web Viewer. Web Viewer SDK offers rendering and editing PDFs, office documents, and images inside a browser. Written with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, making it easy to work with and integrate into the most popular frameworks like React, Angular, or just vanilla JavaScript project. Unlike other viewers that just simply render PDF images inside a browser, we're able to offer low-level PDF editing with JavaScript. And that's what's making this demo possible. To learn more about other PDFtron products, you can click the link in the description below. Okay, let's get started. So what we're going to do in this video, we're going to turn scan PDF form, um, which is right here. We'll load it up. It's a random agreement. Right now, as you can see, that it appears to be a form. However, it's not really interactive or it cannot be filled out. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add some fields like landlord name, street address, state, uh, which are pretty fine. And we're going to put in first name, middle name, and last name, which need to be completed by the user. So let's get to it. Okay, so first we're going to add landlord name. And because we already know the value of it, we'll just pass it in right away. We're able to programmatically fill it. Also, the landlord name is not going to be changing, and we don't want the tenant filling this form out to be changing any of the fields like landlord name, street only, uh, street address, and state. So we're just going to set it as a read only. Okay, so what it does, it adds it as a notation that we're able to position and resize. It's not interactive form field yet. It's more just to get the positioning correct. Perfect. So let's go ahead and do street next. And values can be one, two, three, main street. And again, this field is not going to be changing, so we'll set it to read only. Perfect. Position it here. Okay. That looks good to me. And next one is a city. We're based out of Vancouver. Again, it's read only. We'll add it. Perfect. And uh, one last non readable field is going to be state, which is BC. Again, it's read only. We'll add the field right here. Sweet. And now what we gotta do, we gotta add first name, middle name, and last name of a tenant. And those are gonna be changing, so we're gonna open it up for editing. We'll say first name. Now the name that you pass in uh, into this field right here. Uh, would make it possible uh, later on for you to go ahead and extract the form field values after the form has been built out. If you want to automate your process and save the form field values into your database, that's possible with our SDK. So let's do next one, last name. And we'll say the value is going to be empty. We'll add the field. Place it right here. Sweet. And middle name. And add it. Perfect. Okay, that looks good to me. One thing, the last thing we want our users to do is uh, go ahead and uh, sign this form right here. However, we don't really see a section where we can place. So we'll just go ahead and create it ourselves on top of this PDF by just inserting a uh, custom text annotation. So we'll say signature tenant. And the appearance of those form fields, uh, if you take a look at the source code, is actually controllable by you. You have total freedom of customizing how the form appears, what's the font size, what's the background color, or the text color. Also, all the tools available here um, and here 
are customizable. The whole UI is customizable. You can really kind of make it your own, integrate into your application and change the themes, the colors, the appearance, what tool shows up for different users. So for example, right now we're in editing mode where we're editing uh, form fields. However, you know, when you're showing this form to the tenants who's supposed to be filling it out, they don't need any of this. So you can just go ahead and hide those tools and just make it fillable. So let's go ahead and add a signature. So we'll just say sign tenant. And we'll add it right here. Perfect. So place it right here. Looks good to me. Maybe right here. Perfect. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and convert every single annotation that we placed, almost like a placeholder, and convert it into actual fillable form fields. So let's go ahead and apply the fields. Perfect. And as you can see, those fields are locked down from us, and those are fillable, as well as the signature block. So let's go ahead and fill out this form. Duty, M, and Perfect. And let's place the signature. Awesome. Can also position our signature right inside the block the way we want to. Great. Looks good to me. Now we can also download this form. Let's take a look how it looks. Awesome. As you can see here in other viewers, um, like Adobe Reader or, for example, the built-in viewers, we see that the form we created, uh, the fields are locked down, and those are still editable by us. So we can add another name, or continue filling in, or just uh, remove information altogether, as well as the signature persists. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for watching. And you can check out the source code to this demo uh, at the bottom in the description by following the link as well as to learn about other PDF-drawn products or what else is WebViewer is capable of.